All right, guys, what's a Friday without getting uh, our hands a little dirty? We've got a waste tank that uh, has a sending unit uh, not sensing anymore, so you don't know if it's full or empty. It's kind of stuck. Um, typically, if a sending unit is in the, uh, the holding tank, the waste holding tank, uh, there's stuff that's floating around in their toilet paper and whatever else. Um, that's likely getting clogged onto the actual sending sensor. It's getting stuck uh, somewhere within there. So not an easy job, not a hard job, not a clean job. So we're going to have to pop the sending unit off the top of the tank. We're going to uh, remove it, likely have to clean it out and uh, de kind of scale it and stuff. Um, so uh, anyways, thought we'd uh, show you a little bit uh, some of the not so glamorous sides of what we do. So here we go. Ow, stupid camera. So in the floorboard uh, of the mass, uh, sorry, the VIP stateroom is where we're gonna find the patch to access the waste tank. So this is our waste tank. Underneath here is, I don't know where you can see it, but this is our sending unit. The electrical hookup is going into there, which is sending the sensing uh, data to the uh, computer screen. I'm gonna get some gloves on because I'm sure this is gonna get dirty. How does this make sense? So there's the unit that I need to get off. Anywhere I need to try to access with a wrench or something, I've got something here, something here, 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 and all over. So it's not making it easy for me to get at this, but if it was easy, it wouldn't be boating, I suppose. This is the unit that is sitting into the waste tank, so clearly it's not uh, very clean right now, neither is the smell. We will be cleaning this off. Now we're going to disconnect it, and we're going to take this unit there are two, there's a metal pins here, and these metal pins are going to be removed. This cap at the base will be removed, and we need to clean within here with a garden hose or something like that. So I'm going to take it to the dock, get it cleaned up, and we'll see how it goes. Oh, there we go. So... So this sender, where this is the one that's sliding up and down this pole, is obviously very caked with stuff that we probably don't want to think about. So we're going to clean it and we will go from there. We've got a bucket here and when we bring this into the boat we're going to test that this floats. You notice that the float is actually working. It looks like very easily floating before with all the scale and other crud on it. It wasn't doing that. So now we'll take it back, we'll plug it in and we'll verify that this works. Alright so we're back down here after cleaning this thing out 
um, kind of trying to descale it as much as possible. Um, I'm putting it into a tube of water because right now the waste tank is empty. The issue with this was obviously this sender wasn't giving us the proper reading. So it always said the waste tank was full when the waste tank actually wasn't full. And not knowing what the waste tank is is kind of stressful uh, for a boat owner. So anyways, it's cleaned out. Now we need to test it without filling this water or this waste tank up. And that would take some time and, and effort. So instead, we've got a little tester. And I can every time I put this in here, my little... Uh, the little bobber float will float up the tube and it'll give us an, a, a reading, hopefully. So we're going to reattach. I'm going to replug this guy back in. So here is the sensor unit. It says it's half uh, full right now. Now, let's remove this from the water for a second. Now it says it's empty. Ouch. It looks like it's working. So, slippery pants on a floor might not work well okay anyways so it looks like this might be fixed so now we'll put it back in and uh, tighten it up spray some disinfectant clean this area a bit and uh, we'll be good to go So we'll put this back together. All right, well, it was uh, not a clean job, dirty job, but uh, someone's gotta do it. We suck it up and deal with it, and uh, it's part of part of the whole gig. So um, anyways, we cleaned the sensor, we removed the sensor, cleaned it, descaled it, got all the crud off of it, so it can actually slide up and down the uh, sending tube uh, easily. And, uh, Tested it, put it back into the tank. It's working well, so happy customer. Now he knows where his tank is, uh, levels are reading before a uh, busy weekend, before friends and family come out. And uh, so we're all good. Uh, go clean up, clean up their, cleaned up our tools, we'll clean up the dock, and uh, everyone's happy, all good.